Hey guys, and welcome back to another Fake Card Friday. Actually, on Friday this time. So, we are moving on looking at another Fake Card, and as you can see by the title, I can't believe that someone actually wanted to create a Fake Card for this goddamn deck, because just totally what this deck needs is more freaking power. So, today we are going at uh, Kleeput Invasion. So, this card uh, pretty much got uh, numerous and numerous routers to try to make it as balanced and as balanced as possible but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you its regular effect and talk about it and then I'm gonna give you its eroded effect so as soon as this guy made this card this is what this card said before it got changed to what it is now and what it is on picture so it reads add one clean put monster from your deck to your hand and uh, hold on hold on yeah add one clean put monster from your deck to your hand you can banish this card from your graveyard, except during the turn you enter this card, you can normal summon one cleave up monster in addition to a normal summon. Alright, so that's, that, that's totally cleave up the, with the more consistent C. Yes, that's totally what they need is to have another card to search freaking tool. Why? Like, that would be three tools, three of these, three summons, alright, three odd eyes, like, you're you're getting tool first turn, not, yeah, or, or second. You're getting tool. You're you're getting it because that consistency is just too damn high. So why would you? How would you make something like this? Like someone, I can't believe that someone actually sat here and thought and been like, you know what, Kleepots need consistency because tool is not enough. You need a card to search for tool. Oh wait, you're in a summer zone. You need another card to search for tool. That's like giving freaking Fire Fist six tankies and saying, hey, you fucking go. Yeah, new. No. Yeah. So thank you for making this tier one to tier zero deck even more powerful. And not even talking about its other effect. So you can uh, banish this card from your graveyard except then turn the active this card to get an additional normal summon a Cleep Pop monster. Alright, so that means probably an additional tribute, so more tribute fodder, more effects to go off, more cards to get, just, god, alright, just, why, just why, just, so, as you can clearly see that this card is just, goddamn, just too damn strong, so, uh, after debates with this person and other people who were, you know, responding to him, you know, how they were going, like, oh, what do you think of my card, bump, 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 Bump bum booty bump bump booty bump bum bump bum bump bum 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 Yeah. Finally he tried to make a kind of a rod to the card. So now it reads add one clip pop monster from your deck to your hand. That's still the same. So still adding consistency. That monster or monster with the same name cannot be special summoned or placed in the pendulum zone during this turn. And then the end phase of fact that you can banish this card from your graveyard except during except during the turn you activate this card, you can normal summon one clip pop monster and this your summon to your normal summon. So now they changed it to that that monster cannot be special summoned or placed in the pendulum zone during this turn that you activate this card. So they tried to balance it out. So now you can't go activate uh, this card, search tool, play tool, search. You know, you can't do that. You can't do that. Uh, and you can't play other tools. So it's, it's not like you can play this, search a tool, and then play a different tool because, you know, monsters with the same cannot be, you know, special summon or place in the pendulum zone. Uh, so, that's a kind of a little bit of a change, but the deck can take it slow. And what I mean by the deck can take it slow is that I think the deck would play. I definitely think that if this card was released and Konami said, here, this is a real card, here you go, they would play it. I think they would play it. Because it helps with consistency. I can wait a turn. I, hell yeah, I can wait a turn. I can I I can go ahead and out. I was like, oh man, I opened it back. Shit, I didn't open up a tool. Oh, oh wait, I got three of these and three summoners art and three odd eyes and three tool itself. And then once I get tool, it's fucking game. Cause I'm about to go so ham. I'm about to plus every single damn turn. So I'm about to draw, then pay 800 and search, then draw and pay 800 and search. So yeah, I I I think they play this. I think they would go ahead and play this. Search for um uh, for tool or whatever. Sir, you can't you can't play it this turn. That's fine, but you're gonna get it next turn. All right. So, yeah, helping a tier to tier tier one to tier zero deck. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> so, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this card. Uh, the card art is kind of out of place. It kind of looks like you just slapped. 
Looks like you took like some generic skyscraper background, slap tool on it, slap disc on it, and then slap Karibo on it because why the fuck not? Like, <laughs> like Cleepfoot invasion. Here comes the Karibo. Like, is the Karibo supposed to be running away from the the invasion? Is that supposed to be it? Like, I I don't I don't get it. It just looks like Karibo. When Karibo so out of place on the card. <laughs> All right. So tell me what you guys think about this card. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. You know, recently hit over 2,000 videos on the channel. So just want to thank you guys for the continued support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.